Harold, when you hear that noise, you gotta, I gotta stop. You gotta Sorry. Let me just go. We have another trade. The Twins <laughs> that go get their closer and Tyler Malley now, according to John Heyman, acquired by the Minnesota Twins. Wow, John Heyman joins us now. What do you make of this move? Malley's pitched his entire career yeah. with the Cincinnati Reds. Yeah, I mean, he's an underrated pitcher, very good. A lot of times pitchers, when they get away from uh, that ballpark in Cincinnati, they improve, and he has been excellent lately, so I think it's a good move for the Twins. They're finalizing this deal. They've been looking for starting pitching since spring training, and look, they've gotten to first place and basically stayed there the whole season with kind of a makeshift rotation. So I think anybody they had is a plus, and uh, this will be the second deal that they have made with the Reds for a starting pitcher, Sonny Gray being the first. I've been a big Tyler Malley guy, and uh, as I bring it back to the, the guys here on this set, I, I look at pitchers that their home yard is a band box, and I, I really focus on their ERA on the road, just in general on the road. His ERA at Citizens Bar at uh, Great American Ballpark in Cincinnati, 5.24 last two years, Tyler Malley. On the road, 2.73. To me, that's significant. Yeah. I want to see what he looks like in another uniform, pitching in a different ballpark. As a GM, does that stuff matter to you when yeah, you're looking absolutely. at a yeah, starter? You're looking at all those things. You're looking at trying to project how he might perform in your particular environment. Obviously, Minnesota is a great place to go from a pitching standpoint. And he kind of, Tommy, I think he really, his mix of pitches complements their current staff a little bit too. Because yeah. I think he's going to provide a little different look. Yeah, his fastball reminds me of Joe Ryan's, where the metrics on it are just awesome. Great ride to that pitch, more of a fly ball pitcher, so I do think the change in parks helps him. It reminds me of when Theo Epstein long ago traded for Kurt Schilling, and Schilling was like, I don't know if I want to pitch in Fenway. And he showed him numbers that actually fly ball pitchers do well at Fenway Park. And I think Malley making this transition, listen, I think his fastball plays anywhere, but that will play up there. I thought this was a must-have for the Minnesota Twins. If you look at every team in contention in both leagues, the Twins' rotation had the highest ERA of all 14 teams. I wasn't sure if without getting a starting pitcher, they even make the postseason. Never mind, get through it. And this is a team, how many postseason games in a row have they lost? A million. Yeah. It's probably like 16, not quite a million. <laughs> but I think Malley is the line. kind of swing and miss, starting pitcher, and pitch deep into a game arm. They absolutely needed. So they checked the box today.